Hello, I'm Stuti with IBM CUDA team and in this video, we will cover searching the offenses that CUDA creates when a security attack or policy breach is suspected. There are several searching options we will demo. In this video, we will talk regarding the offense search that we can perform in the offense tab. We have few readily available options available. Let us go through that first. The first one is by category. Here the offense information is displayed based on the category name. One of them is DOS. Another option that we have with us is by source IP. So whatever source IPs that are associated with different offenses are listed over here also if we want to export this particular information we can do it by simply clicking on action and then we have two options for exporting export to xml and export to csv another option that we have with us by destination ip if we'll click on that it will display us the information based on the different destination ip that are associated with different offenses again we can export it by simply clicking on action and export to xml or csv based on our requirement another option that is available with us is by network here it will display the offense information based on the network that has been dis defined in the a particular curator deployment we can also export this in two different formats one is xml and another is csv so these were the four readily available options by doing the search in the offense tab let us see another way in which we can perform the search in the offense tab. Let's go on search and click on new search. Here we can see that there are available saved searches available. So suppose if we want to load a particular saved search, we can simply click on that, click on load and hit on search. In this way, we will be able to see the search result for previously saved searches in the offense tab. Also, if we want to edit this particular search and create our own search, including this particular information, we can simply do that by clicking on search and click on edit search. And there we can add the different search parameters based on our requirement. So let us see how to create a new search in the offense tab. Let's go to search and new search. Here we will need to provide the time range information. We can select recent. We can select another options like event and flow received in last five minutes and another options that is available in this particular drop down based on our requirement. There's another option available that is a specific interval. Here there are two options available. One is the start date is between. There we have to provide the information like date and time. Another option that is available is last event slash flow between. So last event received should be between so and so time. So based on our requirement, we can select these particular time range. After that, we have the search parameters available over here. In the offense ID, we can provide the offense ID information. In the description section, we can provide the description of a particular offense and perform the search based on that information. Suppose we want to do a particular search for which the offense has been assigned to a particular user, then we can select that particular user from this particular drop down. These are the four options available for the direction. We can choose it from here. We can also provide source IP and destination IP related information if we have. Apart from that, if I want to search for a particular offense that is having a magnitude is equal to eight, then I can provide that particular information over here. Also, if I want to search for an offense that is having a magnitude greater than eight, I can choose that as well by selecting the greater than option. Another option that we have with us is le less than option. These particular options are available for severity, credibility and relevance as well. Suppose the offense is having a particular username, then we can make use of this contains username section over here. Suppose we want to search for offense associated with a particular domain. 
then we can select that particular domain from this particular drop down we can also provide source network information and destination network information we can select it from the drop downs present over here we can provide high level category information and low level category information apart from that if we want to exclude any of the offenses from this particular list we can do that by simply checking that particular list suppose i just want to see the active offense then i'll select all hidden closed inactive follow up protected and historical offense this will show me just the active offense after i suppose i want to see a particular offense which is having a certain event count let's say thousand then i can provide that information over here i can also select the less than and greater than option over here similar things will be applied to flows and total events and flows information parameter that is present apart from that if i want to check for a particular destination then i can provide that particular information over here also if we want to check for a particular log sources then we can make use of contain log source parameter we can select the log source from this particular drop down that is present over here if we want to check for a contributing rule to our offense we can simply do that by simply selecting the rule providing the rule group and rule name information so these are the search parameters that are available for doing the search in the offense tab after that we also have an option for selecting the offense source we can select the offense type that is present over here we can select the offense type that is the source ip and based on that information it will provide us the results over here suppose a particular offense is indexed by source ip then that will fall under the offense type source ip apart from that one option that is available is column definition so suppose i select id over here this is the offense id and from here i am selecting the descending then it will show me the results ordered by id and in the descending way let's see how Let's click on search. So it is showing me the result that is ordered by ID and in the descending order. So it is starting from 607 and descending further to 574 and more. Suppose I want to save this search, then I can do that by clicking on save criteria. I need to provide the search name let us provide the search name also if i want to change the time span option i can do it over here as well one more thing worth mentioning over here is this set as default option so this particular search will be saved so if i want this search to be present whenever i'm logging to curator and visiting the offense tab at that time i will select the set as default option right now i don't need it so i'm not selecting it let's click on ok it says your search was saved successfully let's see if it is present over here or not click on search new search and this is the search that we just saved let's click on load and hit on search also if we want to export this particular information we can do that by simply going to actions here we have two options available export to xml and export to csv let's click on one and let's click on notify when done so once this particular search will be exported we will be getting a notification for the same so this is how we can perform the search in the offense tab thanks for watching the video thank you for joining us if you need more assistance use the links in the description